good afternoon world from Shargao Island here in the Philippines. This is where we've been living for the last three years. We're a British family that got locked down here and decided to stay and you can see why. This amazing sunset spot is a new discovery for us. That's the natural tide pool. My family is visiting at the moment so we wanted to find some places that we could take them and finding a good sunset spot has been on our list for some time now and Ocean 101 is our new favourite for that. They got a pretty extensive menu and we sat there and had some drinks and some food together. Five. How's your food taste daddy? A bit higher. Mm. Uh, six. Six. <laughs> Five stars. It was nice to show everybody what the variety of different places you can get are in Chargal. You can eat really local or you can eat high end. It's all here, especially in the general lunar area, which we are right now. So we'll definitely be back here another time. After our sunset meal and drinks, we headed into general lunar at night. This is something we've been meaning to do for some time. And we discovered a place called The Cove, which is really cool, like a little food market or a food court, but island style, all different types of food available and cocktails. We met the owner who was so friendly and generous. She actually gave us some free drinks to sample and they were really tasty. Cheers. And excellent thing is that we can be there with the whole family. So even if you're traveling with your kids and you fancy a little bit of a drink or a cocktail, they're allowed in and they can come and sit with you, enjoy some food, play some games, or just enjoy the night. This is one thing we've always loved about Shargao and the Philippines in general, is the amount of freedom you have here to do things that perhaps you can't do in the West. It does make you feel like you're on holiday. My family's trip is fast coming to a close and so my brother and his family decided to treat us to a meal at sunset at one of our favourite restaurants up in the north, Trogon's Perch. You've seen us there many times and I'm loving their new dinner hours because it's nice that you can come here and enjoy a different vibe in the evening when it's quieter and you can have an amazing meal overlooking this fantastic view. It has been really special to share all of these family moments together for the last 10 weeks in total. My mother was here for quite some time before and my brother and his family have been here for just three weeks, but we've really packed in the adventures and really, really made the most of what time we have together here. It was also nice to just actually have the kids here at home and have the family inside our house here. This home has been our lockdown bubble for years and then it became our safety net. It became our actual home. And it's been amazing to share this space with them so that it now no longer feels like it was just a place to hide away from the problems of the world. It now feels like our actual home where people have visited, experienced it, they felt it, and they know a little bit more now about our life, where things are, and the things that we show in our videos. It's nice to be able to connect that way with our family from London. Story, of course, has really enjoyed having her cousins here. It's been nice for them to bond at this age. This will never happen again. You know, they will never be the same age at this point in their life. So I've been very conscious of that when they've been here together to just try and capture some of the normal moments between as well, sitting watching the TV or just being in the house, just being together. Uncle Cam and Auntie Shell are packing up to leave the island today. Yeah, you're <laughs> rocking the support bands today. <laughs> they actually bought that for Popeye. Is it doing any good? Actually, it's keeping our back a little bit more supportive. So. <laughs> He's a broken yeah, man. How do you feel about leaving the island today? Uh, sad. You know, I can see the kids are really bonding, which is beautiful. Yeah, they don't want to leave the story. Yeah, she's already had a few moments. So I don't want to. Oh, yeah. The holiday's been brilliant. A bit of a broken man at the moment. <laughs> it broke you. Take Miss your doggy at home. And we've woken up to a power cut this morning, so it's like classic island vibes. <laughs> Very grateful to you and Sasha for yeah. giving us the ultimate tour. Oh, uh, well, guys. We're very grateful for you to coming out here because you know it's a long way to come, it costs a lot of money. We know that it's a big part of your life to be able to, yeah, to spend this time together is important. 
now you know the size of the so island. Up there. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like you'd be here for all this time and you never go up the steps. Yeah, I never got to cook in this kitchen as well. I'm a bit annoyed about that. I should have like done something. Because the Mozzies, I'm not brave enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be heading back to the airport soon. I've, I've been feeling a bit emotional to be honest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be the big goodbye in a minute. That's going to be yeah. like the hardest part. But that's um, why we thought we packed the car just in case. It just makes it a little bit easier to make a. A quick break. I haven't decided if a uh, story should come to the airport or not. Uh, I was uh, going to say, like, you've got a choice of driving two cars there if you wanted to do that. Yeah, but uh, I'll, I'll ask her. See how she feels. Yeah, she's feeling brave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. just got to tell her it's not goodbye forever. No, it's we're... just the we're end of our seen... little journey for now. Yeah, we're we'll seeing the UK or somewhere else in the world. Yeah, exactly. Okay, they're checking out of the big house, making sure all of the stuff has been found. It's been good this place. Really, really good place if you're coming to the island for what you get for your money to be up here by the beach and to have all of that space is quite unique actually you don't have many places of this kind of level here this size like big enough to take a whole family it's been good to have everybody just next door so that we didn't have to like you know call each other up and say like what's going on i'm going to drive all the way into general luna you know it would have made the trip a lot more uh, i don't know intensive i guess it's been nice to just kind of like wake up leisurely and have breakfast together in the same house and it all worked out really well. You got it? Yes, it was worth going back in for the check. Devon will be happy, that's his Avengers pillow. As our time here is now coming to an end, it has been sad to think that these guys might not come back to this island ever again, or they might not come back for a long time. I don't know, it depends on budget and whether or not they wanna you know, come back here or meet us somewhere else in the world. So for us here, like this being our home. I feel like on some level, this may be the last time we did stuff together, which is why we packed a lot of things in. But as we go forward with the house build and kind of really staking our spot here on the island, it would be nice to know that people will come back and see this as our home again, because we may not on the flip side be able to visit the UK as easily. So this is the problem with living abroad. I know it's by choice but we just cannot match the freedom that we've found here which is why we chose to make a life here and i'm glad we've been able to share this together with the family This is it, Papua. Are you ready for your big flight back to the UK? Oh, yes, I am now. Yes. Yeah? Have you enjoyed your time? I have enjoyed my time. And I, as I promised, I said I will be coming back to finish off the house building. Yes. You no, know, the tidying up the land first. Come and help us build our house. And then the house, and then I'm going to build my one as well. Yeah, next come and live in the Granny Annex. <laughs> Oh, it's been wonderful having you, Papa. We're so thank proud you. of you for thank everything you. you've achieved. Stay thank strong, you. stay healthy. Well, well, thank you for, you know, supporting me. Oh, here in the first place, yeah. oh that's we want. We're so glad that everybody managed to make it out here. Did you enjoy your trip, Leonie? Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Do you enjoy having your cousin? I'm not going. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah? Who's the star of the show, then? Me. Oh, <laughs> me. Me. The animals, is it? The animals the star of the show. <laughs> the island girl saying goodbye to her city, you guys, your city cousins. Bye, 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 girl. Bye, bye, girl. Bye, bye, bye.
Bye. Enjoy Manila. <laughs> and that's it. The Shogel trip is over. Bye. And then we were three or four, including Poppy. Yeah, once again. <laughs> it's so quiet here. <laughs> <laughs> With everybody now gone, all heading off, they're all in Manila now. Yep. Made their flight and they're spending a day there before they head back to England. Yes. It's been so good having people here yeah. to experience our life. It's been a whirlwind, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, it certainly has. But yeah, we love having visitors. Poppy, how did you feel meeting all of the families? Hmm? Mum made it clear plenty of times that she's had the most incredible time here in the Philippines. And she really wants to come back and help us with our dreams yeah. to build our little family yeah. commune. <laughs> it was very sad, to be honest. I haven't cried like saying goodbye to family and friends for years like on our travels but I cried yesterday the thought of proper going we didn't want her to go but we know the reasons why she wants to go back to London and reconnect but we had such a nice time with her and it was just so lovely to have her with us we felt like she had a really good time here as well so hopefully she'll be back soon not sure how long it will be before the rest of the family make it back to the island so that also made me feel a little bit sad, <laughs> yeah. but I do feel like, you know, there will be opportunities for lots of change in the next five years for everybody. Maybe our plans will align in different ways. We're going to do the shout out for today. And today's shout out is going to... Solo Traveller. Huge thank you to Solo Traveller for becoming one of our members. If you're interested in becoming a member yourself, there's a join button underneath the video or in the description or the top comment. Check it out. That is it from us today. Hope you've enjoyed this video, this kind of roundup of our family's last few days and hope you've enjoyed having our family with us in the videos we have, obviously. And it will be back to just me, Joe, Story and Poppy from now on. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.